In this video I'll show you how to fix some stuck propellers on your drone. As you may see from the following videos, my drone just crashed into the sand and the particles of the sand probably went into the ventilation holes on the arms of the drone. And what you can see now is that one of the propellers is just not working. We'll try to fix that right now. First of all, you will need to unscrew small screws, which are located in six positions. And you need to use a small precision screwdriver. It's a good thing to have a precision screwdriver set with you when you play with RC toys, because when something breaks down, you may think it's something important, but when you disassemble it and check out what's going on, probably you can fix it yourself. Once you unscrew those screws, open this cap and make sure you don't lose rubber o-rings, which are located on the top of the arms. Next, look at the wiring. In our case, we need to fix this arm. So we will check where its wire goes to and disconnect the wire from the main control unit. Next, remove the arm, which is done easily. You just pull it up. The next thing to do is to unscrew those small screws to have access to the inside of the arm, because I think that the sand should be stuck somewhere inside of the gears. The screws used to keep the cap of the drone in its position and the covers on the arm are different. The one the, the screws used for the arm are smaller than the ones used for the cap, so make sure you keep them separately and don't mix them. Now next thing would be to remove the caps. You remove the first cap and then you need to unscrew the screw that keeps the propeller to its axis in order to be able to remove this cap. The screw from the propeller is also different, keep it in a different place. Now remove the propeller and now we can remove the cap. This cap already has the uh, electrical motor inside so we remove this casing and we see what's going on inside so you can see there's a lot of sand particles in it and that was the reason why my gears got stuck so you see there's a one big particle of the sand you can remove it and you see there's sand all, all over the place. So now I need just to clean this up and put everything back, which is an easy operation. After I'm done, let's see if the propeller start working again. Also, in my case, as I know that the drone crashed into the sand with all arms, I'll have to go through all arms and check if there's sand inside. And to avoid the situations like that, I think I will use a tape to close these holes. I know these holes are used for ventilation, but I don't think this motor is going to blow up. So I'll try to use the tap because I'm using this drone a lot on the beach. And I'll update you on whether this thing burns out or not. So I checked all the arms and two of them had some debris and uh, sand particles in it as you can see and cleaned them out and uh, now I will be testing it before I assemble it I'll check if all propellers are working you don't have to assemble everything you just need to go and push the button and uh, see if all propellers are rotating 
So when I turn it on, I see that all of the propellers are actually working now. So now I can put the uh, cover back and also cover all these holes with tape. I also see that there are holes in here and holes in here. Normally this is the place where the plastic supports are mounted, but as one of them broke on my drone, I removed all of them. Now it, uh, the drone has less weight and uh, I think it even started flying better. I didn't see any advantage of having those supports because the drone's camera is not being damaged when it lands because there's still distance between the ground and the drone and the fact that the drone is not positioned in the right position you may hear that in order for the drones to be balanced better they need to be in the right position on the ground in my case it's a little bit inclined but still it uh, takes off very well and I didn't notice any problem with that. I have finished putting tape on all holes that I think can cause sand particles enter into the propeller section. So now what I need to do is to put the propellers back and turn on the drone again. And I also have to check if this tape uh, will affect the performance of the drone because it adds on some weight and I need to check that the drone is able to maintain balance in the air. Now all the propellers are back and we are ready to test them. Uh, do not forget to remove the battery when you try to repair your drone to avoid damaging any electrical component. I will put the battery back. Turn on the drone and see if the all propellers are working. Yes, as you can see, all propellers are working. In the next part, I'll test the drone in, in the air and see if the tape, the insulation tape that I used is affecting the drone's flying ability.